Today is National Drink Wine Day. There are several spots around the Northwoods where you can enjoy your preferred beverage. Newswatch 12's Megan Mamlock has more. Wine lovers can rejoice today whether you unscrew your bottle of wine or you take the cork out, you can come down to Mary Kate's Wine Bar here in Eagle River where you can enjoy National Drink Wine Day and fill up your glass. National Wine Day is a time when you're supposed to be trying different wines, experiment with some wines. A lot of drinking wine is seeing how it goes with other foods, and that's what we're encouraging people to try and do. Mary Kate's Wine Bar in Eagle River is one of the many businesses that opened mid-pandemic in October of 2020. Even though at this moment business has been slow, it's not all bad news for the wine bar. It's kind of nice, maybe a little ways, opening when it's a little bit slower so we can figure some things out, some things we need to change, some things we need to add before the big summer rush hits us. Kate always wanted a place in town that people could enjoy with their friends or for date nights with their significant others. We wanted a place where people could just come and sit, friends, family, and just have a, a nice conversation over a glass of wine. Mary Kate's Wine Bar stands out from other drinking establishments with its cozy atmosphere and sophisticated wine list. There's plenty of places that do carry the local wines and we don't want to compete with them. We want to give them different opportunities, different wines to try. So we try and actually carry things that nobody else does. With so many options, it can be difficult to figure out which wines to try, but Kate has a few suggestions. And my three favorite off of the taps would be the uh, Ken Wright Pinot Noir. We also just tapped a brand new Chardonnay and and we also have a rosé. COVID-19 guidelines are in place with mandatory mask wearing upon entering and socially distanced seating. And as always, however you sip, make sure you sip responsibly. In Eagle River, Megan Mamlock, Newswatch 12.